today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, a transparent video that stays up all the time while slides underneath it change. Hi and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we go through some different software that you can use in the church. Right now we're working really hard on ProPresenter 5, but there will be other software in the future, so stay tuned for that. My name is Paul Allen Clifford and I'm your host. I'd love for you to join the conversation, by the way. Today's show came about because someone called in and had a question. So if you have a question about ProPresenter 5, don't hesitate to give me a call. The number is below the video, or um, you can absolutely hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F. So let's head on over to ProPresenter 5. Okay, so before I've showed you how to add a video with transparency, over another background element. There's a problem with that though. While you can start with a different background and then go to the video with transparency, what if you want the video with transparency to be persistent over several objects? So in this case, snow over these background uh, slides here in our pre-announcement loop. So you'll see that here right about now. Yeah, so you see that snow right there? Might be tough to see if you're not watching this at full resolution, so do that. But you might have noticed that while the snow came up for slide number two, when we got to slide number three, it went away. And that's because I right click to edit slide and then um, the way I put this on was let's find this here yeah so this is a layer on top of the background yeah there we go so what I did was I clicked on this the add video to slide and I put it on this one slide but when you go to the next slide, it goes away. So that's not a good way to do it. So let's see if we can't figure out a way to put it over the top of all these. This comes from a discussion that I had with Sid, who is a technical arts director in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And he was trying to do this exact thing, and I thought immediately, oh, no problem, we'll just use props. So we went into the props layer, and you'll see that I actually have three different props. They all three have this same video on it. I've got the background video, I've got the foreground video, and then I've got this other one that actually works. So let me show you what happens when I select the background video. Believe it or not, that's playing right now, but it has superseded the slide that's playing behind it. So it's going to kind of constantly be over top of that until it swaps to the next slide, so that's no good. Well, we could go to the other one, and we get pretty much identical behavior here. Let me kill this and... So now with prop number two up, identical behavior. So it supersedes what's here. So I can't drag and drop from the image bin, uh, either the background or the foreground, to put these in these props. So that's no good whatsoever. What I need to do is I need to have it basically the same way that I did earlier. So I'm going to click on that and you can see the snow here and 
this should continue on as we go to the next slide and you see that it does. So the way that I did this was I clicked on here and that brought me up to this props editor and what I'm going to do is uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two props that didn't work. You'll notice that uh, just like the foreground and background, which for some reason I'm not seeing it down here. Maybe it's just because I've got it squished down so small here. Yeah, there we go. So I've got this um, background video icon here. That's a background. Then for the foreground, I've got this icon right here and that's a foreground. So those two did not work. What I think is going on is in ProPresenter 5 you can only have one foreground active at a time or one background active at a time. The way the software designates foreground and background it refuses to acknowledge more than one playing at a time. So we can uh, kill that. Let's um, let me hold down command and we will um, delete that. There it is. Looked right past it. And one more time. Command and delete. Okay. So, first step, click on this plus sign. Second step, click on this piece of movie film. Uh, add video to slide. We click on that. And now we uh, go to Falling Snow with Alpha Transparency dot move, which I'll give you a link to that video because it's not one I created, but I found it free and uh, apparently someone wanted this shared because he looked for hours and decided that it just wasn't very good. So. That's how I created this one, and if we get out of the props editor, you'll see here on the props that I now have number three, which is this first one, and I'm going to disable that. For some reason that didn't disable so yeah there we go so I click the clear the props layer button and now I can click the new one which I just made for you and you'll see that the snow is there so you can do all kinds of stuff that's kind of a subtle effect um, my computer does not like doing this by the way because I'm recording and doing this all at the same time. Oh, I forgot to make one quick change here. Let me show you this because this is important. So prop two here, uh, I, I showed you how to add that, but what I didn't do is click the layer and then click on this gear where I need it not to be palindrome, I need it to be loop. So now if we remove that prop layer and get out of the editor and go back in, I expect that that'll just loop forever. And that's what we want, yeah. So there you go, that's how to add snow to your pre-service loop in ProPresenter 5. You can imagine some other things to do, um, adding motion lower thirds, adding um, bugs that come in, all kinds of fun stuff, all done with the props layer. And remember, while you can put a background or a foreground video on a prop, that supersedes the background foreground layer in anything underneath it. So just keep that in mind. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that that's something that you can use as you and your church are going out and changing eternity. 
If you like this material, I actually have a free newsletter that I send out every week with more updates, uh, products as they become come available, uh, announcements of where I'm going, what I'm doing, and you can get it all for free. In fact, I'll give you a gift to sign up. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and you can pick the gift of your choice. Just make sure you give me a good email address because that's how you get the link for the free gift. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.